Pedro Sauer Black Belt for Submissions 101, and I'm going to show you how to do a flying triangle. Now, in a previous video, we did the flying armbar, and it's a lot, the flying triangle is a lot like the flying armbar in the steps that we do. However, it's just a little bit more complicated. In this case, you need to be extremely safe because a guy could get hurt. And if you get hurt, you're not going to want to do the flying triangle. So, this is my buddy Dylan Owen, the master of the flying triangle. He's done it before uh, in competition, and today we're going to show it to you. First thing we need to do is, uh, I'm going to pretend that I have a partner here who doesn't really know how to do the flying triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab onto each other. Now he's going to go over the one that is not being held on. There's two ways you can do this, and I'm going to show both ways. The first way is Dylan is going to go over with the hand that I'm not holding onto. I'm not, I don't, he doesn't have control of. First thing he's going to do is Dylan is going to jump up and just go in and land in the guard. Boom, just like this, and I'm going to pinch my knees together. I want to do this the whole time to be able to catch Dylan, so I lower him to the ground as opposed to slamming him on the ground when we practice, and I don't want to do that. So again, one more time, he's going to jump up. He just lands like this. Fantastic. Now, in the flying arm bar, I grabbed over the top when he put his arm here. In the flying triangle, I go the opposite way. This comes up. So what he's going to do is he's going to jump up in the guard, and I'm just going to catch his leg. Boom, just like this. We're practicing right here. One more time, he does it again, and I just grab a hold. The third thing we want to do is I want to start coming down. I'm 6'4". I'm taller than Dylan, so I don't want him to jump all the way up on me. So what I want to do is I bend down, and he's just simply going to lift his leg and put it on my shoulder. He's going to practice that. And look, I catch it. One more time. He goes like this, and he just practices that. When he feels comfortable with that, Dylan is going to jump in the air, and I am going to catch this, pinch my knees together, and lower him down. When Dylan jumps up, the thing that he's going to do is he's then going to grab my head and pull me down with it and then grab his shin. You need to remember that. Pull the head and then grab the shin. So Dylan's going to jump up. I'm going to catch it. Here we go. He jumps up. I pinch my knees together. Look, he grabs my head and we're frozen in time. Right here, he grabs his shin. He comes down. And then he locks it in just like that. One more time, Dylan. I catch it here. I want to make sure he's okay. I bend down a little bit. He jumps up. Slowly, look. And then I come down. And he locks it in for me. So we practice that. When Dylan starts getting good at that, and things are going good, then I'm going to stand up all the way. Because I'm 6'4", I want Dylan to really practice this. So I'm like this, I stand up good. He's going to jump up, and I'm going to catch him. He grabs the back of my head, holds me down. Notice how his head goes off to the side. He doesn't want to land flat. It would be nice if he could swivel to get an extra little bite in there. So don't be hitting straight down. However, if when you do land, what you want to do is take your chin and touch it to your chest. That way you don't bust the back of your head. If you need to put crash pads down, that's a really good idea. So one more time on this side. He's here. He's just going to jump and get me in the guard. Pretty easy. He's going to jump and get me in the guard again. I catch it this time. Then he's going to take his leg and put it over my shoulder. That one's pretty simple. Now for the tough part. He's going to jump up. I'm going to catch it, pinch my knees together. He jumps up. I catch it. He grabs my head, pulls me down, turns his head at an angle. Then I stand all the way up. The cool thing about this is, guys, when you're doing this, you want me to be pulled like this down so that you can jump. You don't want me way up here doing this. So get me down at an angle. So if he were pulling this, just like this, and then he would make his move. So remember that. Now the last thing. Some guys want to grab the arm when they do this. And that's perfectly OK. It's really how you feel about this. If you want to do that, that's fine. I'm going to trade places with Dylan right here. And then Dylan's going to grab my arm. Now when we do this, he needs to let go for right now after he does it. All right? He wants to take this arm and push it down here. And then what he's going to do is he's just going to jump in the guard and wrap me up. Go ahead, Dylan. He jumps in the guard. I catch it. Well, that's pretty easy. He keeps practicing it. Now he's going to stuff it and put it right up on my shoulder. Boom, right there. He could also, if he wanted to do, if we need to back up, he can just throw the leg up on my shoulder. Boom, he can practice that. But Dylan being the triangle master that he is, he can just jump right up. That's no problem. So we practice it right there. You stuff it, and then you go up. If we were in competition, he could be here like this, and he pushes this down way far, gets me low, and then he jumps up to get me. So those are some of the ways you can do the flying triangle. 
from either side without holding the arm and with holding the arm. I'm Keith Owen, Pedro Sauer Black Belt for Submissions 101. If you would like to buy one of my DVDs or become a Keith Owen affiliate, just go to my website, www.bjjmoves.com. Happy training. Please be safe with this.